Hi, my name's Ben and welcome to England for you. Today, join me on Maples Pond at the Oaks at Sesse. I've just looked into the first fish. And what we're doing is, we are fishing paste, but it's margin fishing we're looking. But we all know we, we get those pleasure sessions and sometimes we're lucky enough to get those matches where we get an empty peg. And today, we're gonna take advantage of that. And as you can see, we've just looked into the first fish. Like I said, it's on pace. I don't think it's a particularly massive fish. Um, but it's all about how we take advantage of these pegs. And that fish took that straight away. And we've got uh, some of this lovely Progen purple elastic on. Uh, the Hydrocar, fantastic. Uh, I've had plenty of fish now and up into nearly 20 pound range with it. And it's just so forgiving, so strong. See if we get this fish landed, we'll get it unhooked. And then we'll have a little chat about the rig. It's a nice little carp, around sort of four or five pounds. Great little start. Took that pace, no hesitation. All we've done is uh, baited it with some four mil fishery pellets to start off with. And he's in the net. It's probably quite more closer to the three and a half to four pound. I'll get him a nook, I'll spin him round and you can you can have a look. Hooked perfectly in the lip. Typical paste hooking. And a great start to the session. Let's get that fish back. We'll uh, go through the, the bait and the technique and how we're looking at the peg. Hi guys, so let's go through the tackle. So, starting with the elastic, uh, we've got the purple hydrocar from Progen Tackle. Absolutely amazing stuff. I've, sh I've showed you that, I've been through that. Um, absolutely top stuff. Uh, the line we're using is Gem Pro, and that's again from Progen, and that's 020, we're not missing about today. That uh, is all the way straight through, right from the dacron run, right to, to the hook, which is a KKMB size 12, if I can find the damn thing. Uh, it is there. It's a KKMB size 12. We'll have a little bit of a tag on there because, like uh, always, we want a little bit to grab onto the paste. We've got a little slot, which is just under above that, which is a number 10, uh, just for a little bit of striking power. And again, one under the float, uh, uh, number 10. And the t uh, the float itself is just a little like a little little chimp margin float. Um, it's probably more for shallow, but it's thick bristled, really easy, easy to see these progens. It's a 0.3, so it's more than capable down the edge, as you can see. So simple, simple tactics in regards to the setup. I've got a little cad put on which you can see on the top, and that's because I'm using the paste as a sloppy method today, and uh, it needs to be able to uh, to ship it out. Um, what we're going to do is a try. I try my best to film this. It's going to be really difficult, so I'll film. Try and get as many angles as I can get, um, because obviously with it being fishing over to another peg, filming on my own, not the easiest. But we'll do as best. So I'll change the camera angle. See if we can get it from a from an angle where you can see the float, and uh, hopefully we'll have another one. So I managed to steer this one round. Just got him onto the top kit. It was an alright fish. Not not nothing 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 massive probably. Again around the three or four pound mark. on this one hooked perfectly in that top lip again Just hold him up I don't 
about that. Two and a half, three pounds. What a beautiful fish that is. In colours in the sunlight. My name's Ben and welcome to Angling View. And today what I'm going to show you is how to catch these big fish on the top kit. What gear to use, how to uh, set that up, how to feed it and how to, to bag up. Got a lovely day at Oaks Lakes at the moment. Fishing peg 42 on cedar. Lovely, lovely weather. Lovely weather, nice and warm. Perfect for uh, for fishing on that top kit. And there's plenty of these big fish about. If we can stop netting like an idiot, we'll get him in. There's a nice fish to start with as well. Let's get him in. Oh, just about fits in that net. This is what, what you need to, to be looking at, at catching and these are can put some phenom phenomenal weights in your net. Let's get this, uh, this fin fish unhooked and uh, we'll get him held up for camera. See if he's going to behave himself. So these are the kind of fish that we're, we're trying to catch. Absolute stunning beast of a carp. It's getting back because I know there's going to be more where that came from. Right, let's have a little run through the tactics, the gear, and now we're catching these really big fish. So. Firstly, step one is the elastic. I know a lot of people go, well, you know, let's go with uh, we're light elastics and we've got plenty, of, you know, we can strip it back. That's fine. I agree with that. I totally agree with that. But in this case, we're wanting to get these big fish in. We're wanting to be able to handle them on the top kit. So step one is we need a good elastic. So I've got a, a size 15 to 17 uh, hollow elastic. Um, it's, a, it's a Phil Reynolds one, it's a really, really good elastic, super strong, super stretchy, and as you've just seen there, net, double figures of fish within seconds is in the back of the net. So, st my step one is the elastic. And step two is to get some line that you can really trust, so, and don't, don't shy on it. So, what we've got today is the Pro Gen, Gen Pro line. Now, if you watch my last margin fishing video, you'll have seen fantastic line. This is 020, so we're not missing about. We want, we want to get these fish straight in. We want plenty of strength and plenty of reliability. So that's all the way from the Dacron right to the hook. Um, so no missing about there. So the hook we're using is a KKMB size 12 Preston Innovations hook. It, like I say, we're going to be fishing with a paste. So you need a big hook. It's going to pull straight through that paste. Big pieces of paste, not messing about. Right, onto the float. Again, with a Progen um, chimp float, a 0.3. I'm going with the yellow bristle this time. I'll get it a bit closer to the camera. Yep, with the yellow bristle, really stable, um, super strong, and perfect for this kind of work. So that's that's got um, a little bulk of number eights just below it, and the, the, the rest of the line is completely free down to the hook. We've got a little tag end on the hook and a knotless knot, purely just to, to give us a little bit more grip onto that paste um, and that's that's it though they're, they're the first two steps they're the most essential the third step is the bait as we know carp love bait they love particles they love th things to munch on and you know as soon as you're going to get stuff like that and you're going to catch fish this 
this is what I'm showing you today is, is aimed basically on everybody. Everybody has got this exactly the same scenario. When you come to a session, you have a little bit of bag of this, you have a little bit of bag of that, you have a little bit, a bit, a bit of bag of that, all into your bait bag. So you've got tons and tons and tons of half opened or just maybe small bits. Get them in all together. So in this, we've got some Scopex boilers, which we've crushed, some crushed up, some whole, some corn, some fishery pellets, and some krill, uh, micro krill pellets in there. We've got some monster baits and dips, uh, red velvet uh, flavoring in there to, to give it a bit of color, and a bit of uh, added flavor, and it just mixed it all up. And it's effectively like making a spod mix. Hemp's a really good one if you've got hemp, and effectively we're making a spod mix. So that's my step three, the bait. So that's the feed and the paste, you know my trusty, half um, green swim stem, half um, marine halibut, and we've mixed that up, not too soft, but not too uh, not too dry. We could swing it out, but we're just dip it, sticking it in the cad pot and tipping it over, um, so really, really simple. I'm going with paste, it's a big fish bay. We're looking at catching big fish, we're looking at catching them uh, fast, we're looking at putting those numbers in the net. So, less of my talking, and more of that catching. Right, so we're gonna get a big, Big ball of paste, as you can see, big old piece of paste, dimple in the top. Let's get my hand up the other hand out, but dimple in the top, we've got a tag end on that on that hook. We're gonna put the hook in, close it round, good to go. Put it into that into that little cab pot. And sit down. Like I say, we're only on that top kit. It's the whole idea of this video. I'm just gonna lay that rig out of the way. Tip that, that paste and put the float over the top to go through my three top tips from when you're fishing to a, another peg or another area that's next to next to you. Tip number one, the peg. Make sure you go up to it and you clear any debris, have a feel around with the landing net and a prod around. Make sure you can feel a nice flat bottom and that you have got no obstructions underneath or there's anything you're going to hook onto or anything you're going to tackle. Number two, gardening. If the fishery allows it, get yourself some scissors. I've seen people come up with shears, fishing matches and they're, they're, they're chopping at, down the reeds. I've seen it all. Make sure your fishery is okay with it. I've got, everybody does it at Oaks. I talked to Tom about it this morning. So there's no problems uh, fishing here. But if you're going to fish across, you're going to have to cut those reeds down so you can see. You want them nice and sort of trimmed down so I can see that peg and, you know, it's, it, it's easier for you to fish. Tip number three, make sure you know which way you're coming out of the peg. When you hook a peg, especially like on a peg today, where it, it's closed in in sort of a square shape, you need to make sure you know what you're going to do once you hook that fish. Nine times out of ten, them fish are going to range from four pounds above. So you want to be, once you want to be hooking them, you want to be steering them out. It doesn't matter what bait you're on, paste, if you're on double expander, if you're on corn, it, do, it doesn't matter. When you hook them, they're going to want to go somewhere. So you have to be ready for that. So my step three, uh, my, my tip number three, is to, to make sure you, you see which way they're going to go. So for example, on this peg, I know I'm up, I'm right, and I'm across, and that's bringing them out into open water and that way I can control the fish. Into another fish. I don't know if it's foul looked or I don't know if it's hooked. But it might be foul looked. There's only a uh, downside of fishing paste in close. You uh do foul look a couple. Oh, I don't know actually, this might not be foul looked. Oh, yeah, I think it's on its fin. And they're wet. Chin, I think this
Come on, cap it. Come on, cap it. Come back to this peg so I can net you. Another nice fish. This one a bit lively. Decided to uh, go a couple of pegs down once we get him on the top kit. Sometimes I do that to you. Oh. <laughs> oh. Lovely little six set little fish was getting back because he's obviously not going to play ball. So hope you've uh, enjoyed this episode. Um, such an advantage uh, in a match if you get one of those pegs to fish at the side of you and equally on a pleasure st uh, session you can obviously have your own peg to fish as a margin it just gives you effectively another addition uh, to fishing it. Um, I must stress only start cutting down bushes if your, your, your fishery allows it where you're fishing. Uh, most do but you don't want to start hacking people's bushes to pieces if you're if you're not allowed to so do check that um, but have a lot of fun uh, enjoy uh, fishing it have a look at the other paste videos if you want to find a paste um, and, and how to do it margin fishing obviously still got a bit of summer left to do um, and we've still got plenty of chance to catch some big margin fish so uh, join us on the facebook group angling for you join us on the instagram at angling underscore for you like and subscribe guys thanks for watching tight lines